Hi, I'm Eli Cohen, the co-founder of Saleshood. Let's jump in and talk about the compelling reason to act now. Why are we talking about this? We want you to focus your energy, to focus your time on opportunities that are going to close faster. We want you to qualify out prospects, whether they're economic buyers or champions. We want you to qualify them out if they're not quite ready to act now. So by being able to tap into your customer's compelling reason to act now is ultimately going to help you with forecast accuracy. You're going to be able to look your boss in the eye, look yourself in the eye and say, yeah, this thing's going to close by this date and here's why. So we started with compelling event, right? Understood what is a compelling event, what is not a compelling event, how to uncover compelling events. You know, we're uncovering compelling events with thoughtful discovery. Right, asking open-ended questions. So we've done that, compelling events, discovery, critical business issues. Now what we want to do is capture all of that learning, all of that information, and create succinct, action-oriented communications, whether they're verbal or written over email, and get you to a place that you're sending these notes out to your customers and prospects fast and getting them to act now, getting them to action what you've learned and what they're going to do next to ultimately solve their problems. Remember. It's their compelling reason to act now. Not yours, it's theirs. You're just helping them find it. That's what you're doing. You're showing them the way. So here's what I'm seeing in meetings today. You know, I want you to take a 60 minute meeting. First 10 minutes, you know how that goes down. Folks come in, they're a little late, they're intros. You know, so you've lost 10 minutes, sometimes even more. I've looked at my watch and sometimes it's about 12 or 13 minutes before we're actually getting to the customer talking about their business issues, their challenges. So the best sales execs then shift the meeting from intro to talk about the customer. Get the customer to talk about their challenges. And that's the next 15, 20, 30 minutes. You're doing discovery, you're asking questions, open-ended questions, layering questions. You know, you're doing what you do great. Maybe you're doing some demo in there, but you're always focused on uncovering your customer's business issues. You're focused on uncovering their compelling event. And now what we want you to do is take all of that great information and get it to become action oriented. What happens in meetings is the clock ticks and all of a sudden it's the top of the hour. People start bolting. They're looking at their phones. They've checked out. They've gone on to the next meeting in their minds. What you want to do is leave time in that meeting to focus in on summarizing. What are their challenges? What did they tell you are their top business issues? What's, what does the solution look like? You know, what does, what's their vision of, of how they're going to solve this problem? And then ultimately, what are some action-oriented next steps? Challenges, vision, next steps. Straightforward. We want you to summarize meetings thoughtfully and make sure that you're communicating this to the customer. Get the nodding heads, confirm next steps, and then you're off. Meeting ended. Energy's there. You're feeling awesome. It's great momentum. And then what we're not doing enough of is summarizing that succinctly, sending a note out pretty quickly, ideally end of day. It's a rule of mine. Notes need to go out by end of day of the meeting. Otherwise, you're losing momentum. They're off to the next thing. They've talked to your competitor. You want to demonstrate that you're going to solve their problems in real time. You want to demonstrate that you've heard what they said and you're going to help them action it quicker.